my boys, what's the word? Today I'm going to be showing y'all the lineup I qualified with. Give me y'all a quick knowledge on everybody I ran and why I ran them. Including why I run a 13 man over a 10 man. And trying to just give little tips about qualification as I can because I want everybody to eat. I want everybody to have a chance even though they think they may not have a chance. Or maybe you played the whole thing. You didn't lose a game in four hours. But for some reason you still wasn't top 10, top 5, top 20, top 30. So I'm going to be just giving little tips just to improve everything and just show you and tell you why I use my lineup along with some clips from 250 of me going crazy when I just qualify first seed. So let's get into it. The third seed in Jazz Gaming at point guard from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's splashy. <laughs> So basically I had Isaiah Thomas at the one, undisputed best point guard right now. There is not a better point guard on the game. Touching him, he can take off from, from God knows where. I'm basically almost be repeating what I said in my top positions video, but I'm gonna be saying how they fit my play style. Cause this team fits my play style fast and it's a bot killing like team. You feel me? Isaiah Thomas can get you a three and can also dunk at will. Kobe Bryant, probably the best scoring shooting guard on the game right now. One of the easiest jump shots to time. One of the easiest moves in the Kobe escape. He went crazy for me yesterday. Carmelo Anthony. A lot of people think he's not worth it. You can not. Y'all can. Y'all can think back too. Including the Paul Pierce that just dropped today. There is not one small forward on this game that can shoot from limitless consistently like get every shooting badge such as chef limitless spot up yes they do work in my team they still struggle to work in my player and my career based game modes but in my team they work just fine name me another small forward that is not a lock-in that can shoot from limitless that's not carmelo anthony not a danny granger like name me another small forward that can get chef and limitless spot up or come with chef and limitless spot up on go Melo played amazing. He gets boards. He does everything he's supposed to do. Larry Bird. I don't infuse anybody to lock him in, but I have him on my team because he has half bullet. Because he has half bullet, I'm able to hit him off the board and let him make three. Half bullet is a difference maker on fast breaks, and fast breaks is the name of the game. Anthony Davis. Even though you got to take his cons and rebounding, he makes up for it in being one of the most consistent jump shooting big men and one of the best rim protecting centers this game has. If I had to pick an MVP for my 250K run, it was Anthony Davis. Gilbert Arenas is just, he has gold limitless spot up. This was the only point guard I could think of at the time because I couldn't get the Ron Boone or Bob Cousy before qualifier started. Gilbert Arenas is my second favorite player all time. He just played the play because James Harden was running point guard anyways. James Harden is that shooting guard. This is probably the second best shooting guard in the game. Has one of the has probably one of the best defenses for all shooting guards at this moment. They glitched him, even though you can't touch any of his badges. He comes with gold clamps, silver pickpocket, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And when I say he was running point guard, like right now, shooting guards are better at running point guard than point guards are. So you use your shooting guard to run the offense. Danny Granger is almost the same as my Carmelo Anthony. Danny Granger can get every badge on the game in case y'all didn't know. He get, I gave him rebound chaser, clamps, interceptor, lucky seven for fast breaks and intimidator, 6'9". He's amazing off ball and doesn't miss. Comes with limitless spot up gold and you can give him chef gold. LeBron James is LeBron James. It's not no more for me to say than that. Like it's just, it's just LeBron James, you feel me? Like he's him. He's the best four in the game. He's going to be the best four in the game for a while because he's LeBron. LeBron will always move like LeBron. Until Giannis comes out, I don't think nobody's taking LeBron's spot at the four. Then I have Josh Smith at the five who, in past videos, I said I think he's a top center. I think he is the top center. Defense-wise, Josh Smith gets the best defensive animations. And if you know how to shoot with him, it turns him into so much more of a threat than he already is. 11th man, just, and I didn't run a third, I ran a 13 man instead of a 10 man because of injuries can happen. There are times where maybe my shooting guard isn't performing and I need to put in Donovan Mitchell. There's times where maybe I'm not getting boards, I need to put in Will Chamberlain. There's times where maybe I'm not getting stops, I need to put in Walt Frazier. So I have Walt Frazier, Walt Frazier's just here because he is probably the best defensive point guard, maybe the best defensive card on the game next to ML Carr. Like, you know he's going to get you a bare stop. He might not get you nothing on offense, but he's going to get you a stop. Donovan Mitchell is still my favorite shooting guard on this game right now. Top three shooting guard. His only con is he's 6'1", but he can get you a three. He can dunk. He can hold defense. He holds every badge on the game. Like, not much more to, to say than that. And then Wilt is Wilt. 
Like, Wilt comes in, if I'm up one, five seconds left, and it's their ball, you put in Wilt, because Wilt's going to guarantee you a stop. Other than that, I could just show you the badges of my team real quick. Isaiah Thomas, I gave him Chef, Limitless, Spot Up, Slithery, Finisher, Dead Eye, and Green Machine. Don't just copy my badges, though, because the reason I gave people badges are different than why you might give people badges, but I know guys are going to ask. I gave Kobe Ankle Breaker, Hyper Drive, Lob City Finisher, Quick Chain, and Bullet Passer. Carmelo Anthony, I turned him into a lock. I gave him Rim, Chase Down, Box, Clamps, and Intimidator. Larry Bird. My token chicken man, I gave him rebound chaser, ball stripper, interceptor, clamps, and rim protector. You're going to see a little bit of the same pattern for some of these cards because I just give them defensive badges because that's what I pride myself on on this game. Getting stops is more important than scoring on this game. I gave AD needle threader, quick first step, unstrippable, limitless takeoff, and ball stripper. Gibbard Arenas can't really get any badges, but I gave him lob city finisher, posterizer, rise up, limitless takeoff, and hyperdrive. Harden's badges can't be touched because he's a free card. Danny Granger, I just showed him to you guys. LeBron, sorry, I accidentally gave him stop and go. But he has post playmaker, menace, grace under pressure, glue hands, mouse in the house. My Josh Smith has brick wall, box, bullet passer, and post playmaker. My Walt Frazier has lucky seven, dead eye, sniper, ball stripper, and rebound chaser. My Donovan Mitchell, y'all already saw a past video on him. He already can get every bat, so just give him Chef and you can let everything else fall where it may. And my Wilt Chamberlain has Ball Stripper, Post Playmaker, Interceptor, Glue Hands, and Limitless Takeoff. So the tips I'm going to be giving you are basically going to be coming while I show you these clips. So Dex, just uh, get some clips from 250 and then make sure it's not clips where nobody was boosted. And then while I'm talking about the tips and tricks, just show like gameplay in the background type shit okay so here we go okay so basically my first tip of the trade for this is you might not lose but the way the point system is this year it is designed for blowouts not quits last year it was quits not blowouts last year quits gave you 150 no matter if it was two zip one zip 100 to zip if they quit you got 150 this year, if they quit, it goes off your score. So if you're up two zip, I think you get 20 points. If you're up five zip, I think you get 25. Like, stuff of that nature. So you're better off winning by 50, 100, 150, 80, 70 than you are anything else. So the first thing in your mind when you play a bot is, I have to blow him out by as many points as possible because I don't want him to quit. So when I mean by slow down when you're playing somebody who you know you're 100% can blow out or flood at any time, you take a minute to turn up. Bots only quit if you go up on them early. So the first quarter, just, you know, just mess around with them just a little bit. You know, keep it close. It's five, six. Second quarter come when you put in your bench or if you play your starters the whole game, you know, toodles to you. Then you take off on him because he already feels he has a chance even though you went up later in the game. So that's probably my first main tip. Second, fast breaks are the name of the game. You need to get on the break in qualifiers. You have to put points on the board. Threes over twos. I don't care what lineup you have. Threes over twos is the most important thing. You need to put as many points on the board as you can in a limited amount of time. Another tip I have is defense is going to pride you because it's going to help you get on the break. You need to get stops. And it's going to be tough because the difficulty isn't high. The difficulty is on pro. You're able to go in the paint and just click square and anything goes in. I saw a lot of reds go in. I saw yellows go in that were above 30. I saw contested shots go in. Like, it's only so much you can do, but you got to still find a way to get a stop. Like, no matter what you think, like, it's somebody else who's getting stops and he's beating you. You got to think, like, I'm parched for time. I need to, I need to, I need to get to it. You feel me? That's, that's basically all it is. So you need to get stopped because that's going to help you get on the break. Think of any other tips and tricks. Um, do not wear yourself out. It's a, it's a marathon. It's not really like a sprint. It's a four-hour marathon, not a, a sprint. So, yeah, you might be first the first hour and a half because, you know, you just think you're doing your thing. You got to stay consistent, baby, for four hours. Do not wear yourself out on somebody you don't have to waste energy on. You might end up playing versus me, or you might end up playing versus another top player on whatever your respected gen and console is. So, like, you need to save most of your mental fortitude for that player. When you see uh, whoever is respected on the, your current or next gen console, 
that's when you need to take off. I doubt you're gonna go a full session without playing somebody good. So when you play somebody good, you need to take off on him and you need to think that I just need to win by double digits safely. Don't lose trying to win by 30 versus a competitive player. Try to win by nine, try to win by 10. You don't got, just get out of that game alive because you just knocked some of your competition out. Then when you get bots again, you just, you know, ride the wave again. It's nothing you can do. Then you just ride the wave. You feel me? So that's probably that. And the only other tip and trick I got is just go out there and have fun. I mean, the game's realistic right now. It's not really a card on this game that's just head and shoulders above the rest. A lot of people ask me who's my favorite card. I don't really have one. Like, everybody was performing. Like, it's just realism right now. Just have fun with it. Don't think about it as, oh my god, I gotta qualify, etc. Like, just go out there and have fun. Like, if any of y'all were in my stream when I was playing, like, I was listening to High School Musical, bro. I was literally listening to High School Musical while playing Up 50. Like, just have fun with it. Like, don't try too hard. That's one of my favorite lines. I'm just having fun while everybody else trying too hard. Like, just have fun with it. Do what you can, and hopefully you can qualify. You like you you might be unlucky. You might play all comp, or you might be lucky. You might play all bots. Whatever you do, just do your best. And as long as you got a good score, that's good. Like now you know you're in a you have a better chance for the next month, and the next month, and the next month, or maybe the next year. Maybe you don't qualify this year. You still got another year. Maybe you don't qualify this month. Maybe you got error coded. It's three more months on three different gens. So like you still got a chance. I was I was fortunately the the first seed, so that's just that's just me, like. So Dex, after I say I was the first seed, that's just me. Show the screenshot of me being first seed. <clears throat> that's really all the tips and tricks I really got for y'all though. I think I just gave y'all everything I could think of from the top of my head for my comp players. Y'all know what y'all gotta do. Just hopefully y'all don't run another comp and just abuse bots. It's literally who pub stomps the best this year. It's blowouts. So you win by 50, you're, you're better than me making 10 people quit this year. So pub stomp as much as you can is what it would be called in other games. Everybody, I think I gave y'all everything I did. I showed you the lineup I qualified with. I told you why I had most of the people I had. I showed you the badges in case you want to copy and paste the badges. I love every single one of y'all, and I wish everybody the best of luck in the 250K qualifiers. It's a lot. That's a life-changing amount of money, man. Get to it. Next one is going to be November 27th. So lock in, babies. Y'all got time. Love all y'all. Peace.